Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends. Welcome back, thank you for joining me today. Today we are going to stop shouting and paint Karomi. <laughs> Our Hello <laughs> Hello Kitty uh, franchise so thus far has given us Skeleton Kitty, Zombie Kitty and Pumpkin Kitty and lots of you asked so now we're going to do Karomi. I'm going to, is that how you pronounce it? I can't imagine there's another way to pronounce it. Karomi? Karomi? I'm going with Karomi. Um, I'm taking these two Madame Glam colours which are just on screen. Oh, what are they called? Green Highlighter and Celestial Jungle, which looks yellow when you put it next to green, but looks green when you put it next to yellows. All right. So we're going to ombre them with the Madame Glam Ombre Brush. You can get money off at Madame Glam, 30% using the link in the description and the code MissJo30. Loads of links and codes for some great nail places. Always check them out. Use the links, use the codes, save some money, everybody's happy. So I'm doing two, I think I did three thin coats of this because yellowy and I find sort of super bright light colours. I, I end up crinkling a bit in the lamp sometimes, so I did three thin coats instead. This is the picture we're going to copy. This I've drawn with gel on my phone. It's okay, it's a screen protector. Um, the sort of shape of the rectangle I want to do is rectangle shaped but I mean is it like a long skinny one is it a shorter fatter one um, just to get an idea of the rectangle we want to start our oval with so we're going to do a rectangle just roughly um, because we're going to then faff about I have kept the drawing of Karomi of this initial part all at real speed so I've marked out in the middle of the rectangle well above but centered and we're going to do a bit of a bigger curve at the top than we have for the Hello Kitty trying to match it on the other side um, didn't work as you'll see <laughs> so we're going to adjust it as we go we are going to fill all this in so we have got room to um you know sort of sketch and change bits as we go so i'm just trying to make this side a bit um taller and then at the bottom not as big a curve as the top a shallower curve and then we're just going to join the sides so instead of doing from do i do I, is that going to be too confusing instead of going from the point of each corner of the rectangle are kind of using the curve from the top to get the side bits but the rectangle sides being a guide still yeah is that we all good with that and then just checking and um getting rid of this bit here so i can see better if it was even and um, this is the double trouble brush from ball pit nails love it and then her uh, ears, hat ears, let's call them ears for the sake of not knowing what to call them. I'm marking out where I want them. They are a bit closer to the middle of her head than they actually are on the picture, but I wanted to get them on the nail. So that's why we're doing that. So we've done two guidelines and then we're doing a little line either side, diagonal, and then we'll join these little lines to the top of the long line yeah okay it's my favorite bit drawing straight lines it's my favorite thing to do <laughs> doesn't mean I'm that great at them but I love doing it and then I'm just widening it because I noticed that where the ears join the head um, it is quite a wide um, sort of joined section you know they're not skinny where they come off the head so I'm just widening either side of this and there we go they should, like I say, they should be further on the side of the head, but we wouldn't get them on the nail then. I wanted to get them on there. And then we will uh, faff about a bit more. Yeah. Oh, wider still. 
How are you all? Okay, I've got time to say how are you in this bit. Normally I'm rushing to keep up with myself, but clearly I was uh, taking my sweet time. <laughs> I mean, you do have to get this looking how you want it. There are some things you can edit when you fill in. You know, you might think oh, I need to go a bit wider here and or something, but for the most part, get it looking as good as you can with a sketch, you know. Prefer, prefer, preferring, preferring, what am I trying to say? Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. So now I've done a line across the middle of the rectangle, just straight across the middle, and then wiped, up, wiped away the top and bottom bit just so that we can see what we're doing. And then we're going to do a V at the bottom, but this side of the V is at a lower angle and a bit longer than the other side because her face is sort of a bit sideways. And then from the top of that V, we can just curve round to meet the bottom of our now oval. And same on this side. See, now her head is sort of turned a little bit to her left. Just by having that, that V on the, the, yeah, the arm of the V a bit longer on one side. Okay. Face down? No. Nope. Faffing around? Okay. And then we're going to mark out where the skull's going to be. I'm going to start with a circle and then put a very um, shallow, is that the right word? Rectangle, rectangles be shallow. Just two little lines either side of the circle and then join them up. There we go. Okay, ignore the fact that I drew a nose on there. We're gonna wipe that off. I'm just wiping away my sort of sketch lines to make sure everything's looking okay. And now we have a little circle just to the left of the bottom of her face, uh, as in the left of the center. And then another circle that is behind that circle. And then from that one, we're going to do an oval, but one side, the top of the oval is tucked behind the circle that we just did. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, then off this circle at about seven o'clock, we're going to do a curve coming out to the left. And then that's going to be part of her collar. So then we're doing another curve from the circle, joining up to that because her arms, this is an arm, by the way, underneath her collar. So now it's tucked under there. So two curves, like a little banana. And I hope you can see it well enough. Maybe I should have done this in a darker colour. Now, from where the bottom of her face curved, the middle of her face, not her hat, um, we're going to curve outwards again to the end of the left side of her head. Yeah? Um, <laughs> then we're just going to do a little V, joining that up to our banana. Okay. And then the same on this side. We're going to go from the oval of her arm and we're going to come out in a curve and then out from the face to join it. When I say face, I mean the bit that's in the middle of the big oval head. The other bit's the hat. Okay. And now underneath the oval of the arm, we're doing just a little curve inwards. That's her tummy. And then from the point, oh no, from the end of this arm, we're doing another curve that had we carried on each of those curves we've just done, they would meet up as if it was another oval. And then we're going to come down a little bit from this curve. That's, going, that's her bottom now. So we just come in and down a little bit. And then mark out from the middle of her hands, imagine a line down, that's where this next line is going to start. It's going to be her foot. So we'll come along straight and then curve it up to meet her leg that we've just created. Um, and then we'll curve the end of the foot just with a little C shape and then bring it in just a tad. And then above that, in the center of that line we've just brought in, we're going to do another little curve. And now just a bit further beyond her tummy, just a tiny bit, we're doing a curve that's the end of her toes, say, and then joining it, joining it up to the next foot and then bring the top of that foot in. We've got a little gap there, so we just join the tummy to the top of that foot with another little curve. I've tried to say that three times. I'm, I'm having to go with that. <laughs> now out of her bum comes a tail, which is just two thin curves, and we're going to do... 
um, a triangle at the end. There we go. Those curves do get wider to the bottom of the arrowhead, let's call it, um, as opposed to being the... We'll worry about that when we fill that in. Okay, okay, okay. Hard part's done. So now we can move on to filling everything in. At this point, I realised... Um, so I have cured the outline now. I realised that the skull was actually oval-shaped, which makes sense because all their heads are oval-shaped. So we're just going to change that a bit. And this is tulips, the colour, and then we'll fill that in. And then um, each section we start to fill in. I'm going to cure that now. Full cure, I think. Um, each section we start to fill in with each colour. Wait. Whenever we switch to another colour now, this is normal speed for a few seconds. Then I'll speed it up so you can see how slow I paint but it looks a lot faster in the videos obviously because I speed it up because otherwise we'd be here for ages um, but each time we change colour I do do normal speed for a little bit just to remind everybody that it's not going this quick in real life okay don't fret um, the reason I did the skull I painted that before colouring in um, the hat um, was because you could just put it on top of the hat, do all the hat and then put the skull on top because it's a light pink. I wanted it to, um, you know, if I put that on this dark charcoal colour, then it might not be true to the right colour. Yeah, I've lost all enthusiasm now. I've just held my breath through the whole um, <laughs> drawing of the character. Um, so I, it's nicer to do things all on one layer as well, one sort of level. So instead of having the pink skull on top of the um, charcoal hat, doing it this way means it's all going to be one level of everything instead of layers upon layers. Um, everybody all right? Um, thanks for all your lovely comments on the last video. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I had so much fun doing it. And I do read all your comments, so keep them coming. I like to hear from you. I like to sit when I can't sleep at five in the morning and I really should be avoiding looking at my phone, but I just end up picking it up and I just read through everyone's comments. Um, and you all make me smile because you're so lovely. Uh, yeah, now we're just colour blocking. So not much to say, really. Um, I'll find something to say, don't worry. Oh my word, the other day I watched something that cracked me up. I don't know if anybody outside of the UK will appreciate how funny this is. I don't know how I saw this. I was probably in one of those um, bad places where you look at one short um, on YouTube or TikTok or something. I don't really go on TikTok. And then you just fall in and then it's like, you know, three weeks later and you're like, fuck, what have I just done? What have I just done with the last three weeks of my life? And there was a girl <laughs> who I think, was she Canadian? I think she was Canadian and she was over here and she was shopping um, and she did a short on it. <laughs> I'm not laughing at her. It was endearing. Um, but she said, oh, I've just come to this shop called... ASDA <laughs> and it was a huge it was a it's Asda by the way and it was a huge Asda I think it was the one in Battersea possibly um and she oh when we do this bit don't forget to curve out that little bit there where we've got the circle of the hand stick to where you've drawn things um okay that's enough about nails let's go back to my story um and, she, and it was a huge Asda, Asda, and she walked in, she was like, oh, it's quite cute. Cute? It was massive. And she picked up a bottle of mouthwash, which is like the big um, Listerine. And she was like, I can't believe how small this bottle of Listerine is. <laughs> it was the big bottle. It was the big bottle of Listerine. Anyway, um, where was the funny part of this? It was somewhere in... Oh, that was it. It was in the comments. Someone commented and said, wait until she goes to M-A-R-K-S-A-N-D-S-P-E-N-C. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was funny. <laughs> it was also about five in the morning, so that's probably why I thought it was um, 
funnier than it might have been. <laughs> um, but yeah, places aren't as big over here because there's not much room. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was funny. Um, now we're outlining. I'm using, so everything on this nail is done. Should we talk about nails? All right. Jeez, if you insist. Um, is done with a double trouble brush. This bit, oh, I love doing that. I love outlining straight lines. I just find it so satisfying. Just lay the brush down, let it do its thing. Let the brush do all the work. Did a little overlap there. Flip the brush around. Got your little wiper away. -er. What's it called? Clean up brush. There we go. Which I dip in. Oh no, I have a wet lint-free wipe, but it's wet with isopropyl alcohol. And I'll just wipe my brush on that. Because um, you don't want it too wet when you're wiping away because it will spread and, and blur um, disperse your other parts of the neat line. Um, so just kind of lightly damp, moist, if that's okay with you. Um, we're going to outline the skull in black, even though... Uh, where was I going with that? Even though it's actually not outlined, I don't think, and the teeth these bits so two little straight lines in the sort of rectangle part of it and then just two kind of oval eyes um, even though they're actually in the charcoal color I thought I'd do them in black and then we'll carry on outlining was I in the middle of talking about something else maybe don't know um outline everything else the outlines are all um straightforward just outlining what what we can see <laughs> as opposed to you know something down the road um until we get to uh the hands and things so i'm going to add using the same pink just using a dotting tool just a little dash with the dotting tool which gives us a tiny oval and i've outlined it off camera because it was just too stressful to do on camera oh these eyes so i put two dots on as markers and then we're going to make a U shape using that dot as the the bottom of that dot as the bottom of our U shape but then we don't go all the way up each side right here we go each side of the U isn't the same length one is shorter and then we join them up with the diagonal I don't like what I did with the eyes I wiped them off and did them several times then I cured them then I painted over them and tried them again and this is the bit you see, but I think I probably wiped these off and did them again exactly the same, but just a bit different. But well, just again. Um, so yeah, it's a U, but one side is shorter and you close, you put a lid on it. And then two little dashes coming out for eyelashes. I think I did them too big. I think they're too big, but there you go. And now we use the curve on the black bit of her collar, or the charcoal bit, as a guide to how big our circle needs to be because we can't see it anymore. So I started that one on the left in the curve, in this bit here. See the curve we made when we filled in, um, just to um, give us a guide as to the size of the circle. And then we do another curve that joins the collar and now we see that her arm is tucked up underneath that collar. And then we just carry on outlining until we get to the other arm, which kind of looks like a peanut. Um, but let's not start bringing uh, food and sundries into the mix of explanations for things. <laughs> I'm loving the um, this ombre background. Love those two colours ombre together. Colours that are closer together in colour <laughs> ombre better together for obvious reasons um, you'll see there's a tiny gap at the bottom of her hat on the right but we'll worry about that later so now we're doing the rest of this arm so we'll curve around on the outside first to give us a guide as to the shape because we've created it when we filled it in over the sketch um, and then just another curve to join it to make her arm and elbow and now we're going to carry on outlining her bottom and her leg. And then we've got the tummy line here, which comes into the white 
and then here we have her little toes so again using the same guides as we did when we were drawing it initially so we knew that those toes ended if we drew a straight line up from the tip of the toes it would go to the middle of the hands paws whatever we call them and then a little c above the um, top of the foot on the left there and then carry on outlining this one and then this bit here just a little curve to join them there we go now she has little chubby legos oh have a little bit of a clean up there we go and the tail um yeah it comes so it's skinnier where it joins the body and then gets a bit wider to the bottom of the arrow head um, and it does go off the page off the nail why do i always say page um so we haven't got the outline on one side of that but that's fine oh now we have her little mouth so we do a little curve in in the same sort of curvature as the bottom of the nose and then just bring that down to meet the hands and then i'm just that bit there just kind of neatening out the where they join and then I've done an angled line, a straight line, and then an angled line going in the other direction. Just like that. And there's her little evil mouth. And then we're adding the dots, balls, pom-poms, whatever you want to call them, at the end of everything, her collar and her ears. The ears in the picture, the dots were black, but I wanted them pink. When you're painting something, you can do it however you bloody want. And then we're going to very carefully outline them. And I'll do that to all of the pink dots. And now we're taking our trusty Born Pretty BPCA06. You can get 22% off at Born Pretty. Get their jelly polishes. They're amazing for this sort of thing. Um, all their stuff's good. I love it all. Um, there's a link and a code in the description to get money off. Got some more stuff coming from them soon to show you. Can't remember what. And we're using just that. BPC 806 which is a black jelly we're going to go down the left no the right of everything um, I do know my lefts and rights but it just takes like a fraction of a second just for my brain to confirm I've got it right or left <laughs> um, we're going to go down the right right of everything um, I think this ear I should have gone down the other side even though I'm putting all the shadows to the right I think I should have done it. Did I look? I didn't find a picture of her with highlights, I don't think. Did I? Not sure. So just doing thin. Use the product sparingly. You don't need a lot because you want it to be a little bit translucent. Although it's not that big a deal when you're doing it on a dark colour like this. Um, but we'll go along the bottom of all of the bits of the collar like this. Just to the point. And then along the bottom of the tail and the arrowhead. I'll either go to the right or to the bottom for shadows. That's my rule now. I should learn more about it, but um, I haven't yet. Now I'm mixing some white with some of the black jelly to create a grey. And we're going to go down the right again of all the white bits. This is going to be the shadow for the white. So we'll go down her arm along her tummy get a tiny bit in that little little chubby roll and then on the foot as well and then on the other foot I figured the shadow would be on the outside of these lines sort of in between the legs so I put it there does it make sense I don't know it's fine and then we're going to go under the arms because it will kind of lift them away from her body a bit There'll be a, a gap between her arms and her body. I liked that, although I didn't, I went over the black outlines a bit and I forgot to clean it up, which is annoying, but there you go. And then we're going to go under the V of the hat, again, just to add a bit more depth, just so it's, I don't know, a bit more interesting. Um, and then I think, do I go down maybe the right side? Yes. And down here. It just looks a bit more, um, yeah, depthy, <laughs> don't dimension -y. And then we'll cure that. And now I'm taking the hat grey with some white. And we're going to go down the left of everything. So we'll go down the left of the ears and then left of the hat. 
Um, and this is what I think the highlights just bring it all sort of bring it on home. You know, I think it makes things look more alive, more cartoony. That's for sure. So down the left, the left, the left. Yes, of everything. And then we'll go from uh, just just to the left of the centre. We'll bring it down the side of her hat as well. I'm presuming this is a hat and this isn't her head. And she just has head and ears like this. Like it looks like it's, you know, she puts it on in the morning. She's not just born with it like that. And then we're going to go along the top of the collar bits. And we'll go along the top of the tail, the arrowhead, and then get a tiny bit just in there. Okay, I like a little challenge. Can I get a little tiny line in there? There we go. And just join those, join that up to the side of the arrow. And then I thought, let's go along the top here. Because where there's a shadow, if we're going to put shadows on, we need to put highlights on. And normally the things that would be sort of sticking out further or catching the light first. Um, so we did some along the top and then I needed to redefine the black line in between those two. And then I've added a bunch of the same skulls from her hat in the background and we're taking the, the black jelly and I've just gone down the right side and under the bottom or under the teeth of the skull to make them look like they're kind of off the page a bit and that was that was that and now we're done so we're topping with the Malam Glam no wipe shiny top coat I'm doing it nice and thick to get as straight a light line as possible she does have a bit of a wiggle in her light line but I'm okay with it it's okay um, I think a lot of reasons why people do matte top coats on characters is to so you don't have a wiggle in the light line because there is no light line with matte um, but I'm just feeling the shiny so here she is with her family um, who would win in a fight her or the zombie <laughs> let me know um, and let me know who you want to see next from this franchise. I appreciate you being here so, so much. Uh, I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.